So we're exactly two months away from the US's presidential elections with both conventions over and the big debate approaching. This is now a pretty good time to assess the mood on the ground in the United States of America. The key battles, of course, will be concentrated in these seven states. Arizona, Michigan, Nevada, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin and Georgia. Now, for the first time, polls suggest that the Democrat nominee Kamala Harris is winning enough number of states, swing states, to reach the White House. A projected victory in Pennsylvania, Wisconsin and Michigan will give her about 270 seats. And this is going to be really crucial for her. This is going to be enough number, exact number of seats that she needs to win to, in fact, win the presidential race. Now, remember, this is the same victory path that Joe Biden had taken in 2020, relying on support from the Midwestern Rust Belt states. Now, Trump, on the other hand, is projected to win the Sun Belt swing states, such as Arizona, Georgia and North Carolina. Now, Harris is one point behind in, the, in both North Carolina and Arizona, and there seems to be a bit of a tie in Nevada. So this is how the big picture will look. The Telegraph says that Harris will win about 226 seats, sure shot, and will garner about 44 votes from the swing states. Now, Trump's loyal base is expected to get him about 213 seats and about 49 projected votes from the swing states. That brings the total number of red votes to 262, eight short of the winning mark. Now, the American media network CNN is projecting an even better picture for the blue camp of Kamala Harris. Now, Kamala Harris is leading in Michigan and Wisconsin, and there's almost an equal split in Georgia, Nevada and Pennsylvania. What is interesting is this. Donald Trump is leading in Arizona with about five percentage points. The Democrats have had a fair run in the opinion polls since incumbent Joe Biden stepped out of the race. But polls on policies haven't been very kind to the Democrats. Now, economic issues and immigration are still being seen as the weak link for Kamala Harris. As the sitting vice president, she's tied to the policies of a pretty unpopular White House at the moment. Now, Donald Trump will, of course, try to capitalize on this momentum as he's resuming campaigning from Pennsylvania tonight. For all the latest news, download the Vion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.